morning. How's everybody this morning? Amen. Good to see all of you this morning. Amen. I believe that each and every one of us got something to thank God for. Amen. How he has kept you and watched over you all across this week. Amen. Let you know that we serve an awesome God. Amen. He is just some kind of wonderful. Amen. To see all the destruction uh, throughout uh, your neighborhood and my neighborhood. And, and then to look at this morning, we got the bright sunshine. That's it. Amen. It ought to make you want to sing and praise and glorify God. Amen. He is awesome. Glory be to God. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. We have that blessed assurance that Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. I'm an heir of salvation. Purchase of God, born of his spirit and washed in his blood. Amen. This is my story. This is my song. And we're going to just praise our Savior all the day long. Amen. At this time, I'd like to give you that awesome choir of the Pilgrim Rest Missionary Baptist Church. They just want to bless your soul for a few minutes. Amen. Just let the words of the song just saturate your heart and your mind and just set your heart in tune. Get ready to just praise his holy name. Amen. Give it up. Amen. For the Pilgrim Ranch Missionary Baptist Choir.
John, the ninth chapter, the first five verses. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. His disciple asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned it, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Or if you join the ninth chapter, the first five verses, may God has blessed to the reader, the doer, and the herald of his holy word. I love the Lord, I hear my cry. I love the Lord.
Bless us, 
Lord. We're going to be satisfied. Lord, we love you. We praise you. And we glorify your holy name. God, thank you, Jesus. I had 10,000 tongues. I couldn't thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Food on my table. God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Clothes on my back. Thank you. For a roof over my head. Thank you for a portion of health and strength. Thank you just for you being who you are. Thank you that when I looked around, all my family was doing all right. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like that word ain't big enough. Yes, but Lord, that's all I know is to tell you thank you, Lord. Thank you. Didn't have to do it, but you did it again. You didn't have to let me be here, but you did it again. And Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That name that's above every name. Name where every knee shall bow. Every time one day is going to be blessed. Thou art the Christ, the Son of a living God. In his name, Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. 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 Look with us, if you will. There is a word found in Philippians chapter 2. Amen. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 through 11. Thank God for Jesus. Yes, Ain't he good? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. It's good, I tell you. Yeah. Again, the ninth verse, it says, Wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Yes, Lord. That at the name of Jesus, every niche should bow. Of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Like to try to reason with you for a few minutes. What's in a name? Amen. What's in a name? One's name implies authority. One's name implies power and control. Believe it or not, your name expresses your character, your individuality, your standing, your integrity, and your boldness. 
What's in your name? A name gives one his or her ranking, whether it's good or bad. It gives one's esteem. It also lets you know how majestic you are and the awesomeness of your personality. Your impressiveness. Some people, all you got to do is just mention their name. And everybody know him. Oh, bless his holy name. A name implies power, ability, competence, and effectiveness. I don't know about you, but when I get in trouble, I call on the name of Jesus. And he has come to my rescue. In his name, there is excellence. Amen. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. In his name, there's superiority. Oh, bless his holy name. There is none like him. No other name given unto man under heaven whereby man must be saved. A name identifies. It tells who you are. It designates who you are. A name, it tells your position. It labels you. It tags you for life. In this vein, the same name that I came here with, I'm going to leave here with. Oh, bless his holy name. It tags you for life. Amen. You know, uh, you can change your name if you want to, but it's still, you still going to be who you are. Amen. I changed my wife's name from Ficklin to Joan. But regardless of how I changed the name, she's still a Ficklin. Simply because of the blood. I wonder if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, bless me, holy name. My brothers and sisters, I don't care how many times I change it. Amen. Simply because she was born of the blood. A fickling. She's still a fickling. My brothers and sisters, the name announces your coming. Or oh, it's one thing to just realize when you realize that the Holy Ghost is in the house. A amen. Someone says that have your acting strange. Amen. But I don't mind acting strange as long as it's the Holy Ghost that got me acting strange. A name my brothers and sisters make ways for you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah for the name, of, the name of Jesus the Christ. Uh -huh. I've heard people say that, well, uh, uh, because you know Joan, uh -huh. I'm going to make a way for you. Uh -huh. Amen. Sometimes all they got to do is just mention your name. Uh -huh. Hallelujah for the Lamb of God. My brothers and sisters, we all don't want to live in a way wherein that people can just mention your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A man's name, my brothers and sisters, is not like a mantle that hangs about you, uh, which you purchase, uh, which may be somewhat of a safe keeping that you can twist and also that you can pull. But a name, it is a perfect Fitting garment. Mm -hmm. Amen. My brothers and sisters, can't nobody else wear my skin. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's either too little or it's too big. Mm -hmm. Amen. My, it's, it's a perfect fit for you. Mm -hmm. Like skin has grown over him with one which one cannot rake or scrape without injuring the man it belongs to. Mm -hmm. Ain't God good today? Shakespeare said, a good name 
in a man or woman are the immediate jewels of the soul. Oh, bless his holy name. When I hear that, yes, the president of the United States is coming, and someone said Biden is at the door, I'll stand up and take notice. Who still, who still, my brothers and sisters, we ought to be just like the precious, your name ought to be just like a precious jewel that you own. I tell you one thing, my brothers and sisters, if you steal my jewels or my purse, if you steal, yes, you you steal in nothing but trash. But if you steal my name, you rob me from the riches that I have. If you steal my riches. You really don't do a whole lot to me. You're only just taking my trash. But if you want to make me poor, steal my name. Hallelujah for the Lamb of God. A good name is rather to be chosen than riches and gold. Your name tells everything about you. Whether it's good or bad. Yet society has a way that instead of looking on the good, regardless of what you've done, they always is going to see you bad. Uh -huh. So it ought to behoove you that you want to live a life that's precious in his sight. Yeah, yeah. For you and me, all of this, my brothers and sisters, can change in just changing your name. Yeah, it changed it to, to be a child of the king. I thank God that, yeah, my name was changed in the Lamb Book of Life. Thank God for Jesus. But there is a name, yeah, which is above every name. There is a name that is a divine name. There is a name that is eternal name. I don't know who or what they're going to call me when I get the glory. But my brothers and sisters, uh, ever since I've been here for 75 years, Jesus' name has not changed. Yes, and somehow I believe when I get the glory, his name is still going to be Jesus. My brothers and sisters, uh, his name is omnipresent. Simply means that he's everywhere at the same time. Yeah, in our Sunday school lesson this morning, yeah, the centurion sent for Jesus. But little did he know that he didn't necessarily have to sin for Jesus. Simply because he's already there. Yes, if you call me, you would have to say, call the pastor. Ain't the Lord all right today? Yeah, but with Jesus, he is already there. There is a name that's an in omnipotent God. Yeah. An omnipotent name simply means that that name is all powerful. Yeah. There are some things that I can do, but with Christ, he can do all things. Yeah. But then he tells me if I'm who I'm supposed to be in him, yeah, I can do all things through him that strengthens me. And his name is an omniscient name. Simply meaning that he knows all things. Thank God that he has an immutable name. Which simply means that he is unchangeable. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thank God for the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. 
there is saving power in that name. Yes, there's delivering power in that name. There's a comfort in that name that can hold me when I can't hold myself. There's comforting in that power sometime in the midnight hour that he come alive, come along beside me and hold my little hand. Thank God for Jesus. Yeah, there is peace in that name. Joy in that name. Thank God that there is love in that name. How do you know that there's love in that name? He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Thank God there's also mercy in that name. Thank God for mercy. Yeah, if he had not had mercy on me, I don't believe I would have woke up this morning. Justice had been served this morning, perhaps hell would I lift up my eyes. But because the Lord had mercy on me, yeah, if I die or when I die in glory, would I lift up my eyes. My brothers and sisters, thank God for his name. Yeah, his name says that he's the author and finisher of my faith. Yeah, I don't know who you're leaning on, but I'm leaning on the Lord. His name, there's authority and eternal salvation. Some things can keep me for a little while, but only the Lord can keep Throughout eternity. Oh, bless his holy name. Yeah, the beginning and the end. Yeah, he is my shepherd. And thank God I shall not want. Ain't the Lord all right? I want to tell you he's the one that feeds me every day. Ain't the Lord all right? And I dare you uh, to keep calling uh, his holy name. He will uh, show up in your life. Yeah, his name is above every name. Therefore, uh, my brothers and sisters, we must reverence his name. We must worship his name. We must praise his name. We must bless his name. Oh, thank God for Jesus. My brothers and sisters, wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which above every name. Thank God that at the name of Jesus, one of these old days, every knee shall bow. Ain't the Lord all right uh, of things in heaven and in earth, a thing that's even under the earth. I want to tell you, uh, I thank God for his name. He says that every tongue shall confess uh, that Jesus is Lord uh, and glory to his Father. Uh, ain't the Lord all right? Uh, I want to tell you, my brother, uh, when the way get dark uh, and when uh, your friends get few, uh, hold on. Uh, an uh, unchanging hand uh, he will uh, take care uh, of you uh, there's a song uh, that simply says uh, and I'm gone uh, my brothers and sisters uh, oh uh, 
how I love Jesus and the Lord Jesus. 
changed my whole life. Picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet on solid ground. It's on Christ, the solid rock I stand, and all the other ground is sinking sand. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna stay with it. Come hell or high water, I'm gonna stay with Jesus. Serving the Lord will pay off after a while. Even if he don't fix it on this side of joy, no cross over on the other side is already fixed for you. I got a home on the other side. It ain't so bad to die. But to die and you don't have no place to go. It's alright to move. But you ought to have a place to move to. And I want to tell you. Everything you need is in that name of Jesus. Grandmama wasn't no Philadelphia lawyer, but she said that, that he's my doctor. In my sick room. He know I'm no Philadelphia lawyer, but he's bread in a starving land. I wonder if you know what I'm talking about. I'm no Philadelphia lawyer, but he's a friend that sticks it closer than a brother. You may not, you may, you may say, well, I can't pronounce all them big words that's in the Bible, but I guarantee you, you can say Jesus. You don't even have to worry about trying to break it up into syllables. All you got to say is Jesus. You don't have to be a Philadelphia lawyer to realize that Jesus means Savior. Every now and then, you ought to throw your hands up and say, Lord, save me. Save me. said about the centurion soldier this morning in Sunday school. I've never seen such faith in all of Israel. And notice he didn't really say that Norman until that centurion said, I'm not even worthy for you to come to my house. You, you, you don't even have to come where my servant is. All I want you to do, wherever you are, just speak the word. Just speak the word. And, and, and I believe that my servant will be healed. I know some folks want to gain the glory and the spotlight. Say that I went by old so and so and so and so's house. I laid my hand on them, I anointed them with oil, and they're better this morning. I did it. But I want to tell you the only way that you're going to get better is if Jesus did. I can lay my hand on you, I can bathe you in oil, but I want to tell you if the Lord. Right for sure, it will not be done. That's the reason why you just about close every prayer that you pray in Jesus' name. How many of you? How many of you when you pray and you close and you say in Jones' name? <laughs> because you know it. It wouldn't be what I've done. But I dare you to call Jesus. I dare you to close 
Jesus in his name. Because his name is above every name. And at his name, every knee shall bow. At his name, every tongue is one day going to confess. I don't care how tough you think you are. I don't care how bad you think you are. One of these days, these guys that's running around here with these AK-47s or 46 or whatever it is, thinking they're bad. One of these days, the deeds that's done in the body, you going to have to pay for it. Yeah, how bad Donald Trump think he is. One of these days, he gonna have to give an account. Go on, vote him back in. I know who's in charge. He ain't gonna do no more than the Lord would let him do. Ain't, ain't it strange who he is? <laughs> Amen. He can just he can just stop inhaling and exhaling for you. When he get ready for Biden or whoever else is on the ticket. When the Lord gets ready. Grandmama used to just say, you got to move. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Every need going to have to buy. Every time. Even if they don't want to, they're going to have to say that Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm going to go on and praise him while I have a chance.
tell the Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, forgive me. I know I should have been going to church. I know what I should have been doing. I know I should have been paying my tithe. I know I shouldn't have been where I was. I shouldn't have done what I done. Lord, forgive me. Most of the time, we don't think about Lord to, the Lord to crunch time. Don't let him have to lay you on your back in order for you to look up. Sometimes we won't we won't even do much of anything for the Lord until we get sick or someone close to you die. And then when it happens, you're ashamed. Jesus is open. I heard him say the day that you hear my voice. Heart not your heart. If you open up, I'll come in and sup with you. And you will be. Will you come? Oh, Lord. 